Hello, today I'm walking you through the 365 RB Sports Coach. We're halfway through the 2020 model year and we have made a few tweaks to the product, which I think you'll enjoy. I'm gonna try and hit on a lot of questions that I get asked at all the different RV shows that I work, Hershey, Tampa, up and down the East Coast. My name's Joe Mullen. I do work for Sports Coach. I do the entire East Coast. We have three factory reps, um, always available at coachmanrv.com if you have questions after you watch this video email in your questions or give us a call at coachman one of the things about the 365 rb i uh, get a lot of questions about what chassis is it built on this is built on the freightliner straight rail chassis we call it the sports coach srs series we are powered by 340 horsepower throughout our entire srs lineup um, bring that up because we do have competition that will use a 300 horsepower just to try to keep their price down Big thing with us, uh, we're not an entry level diesel pusher. Said it before, we're a luxury bus in the entry horsepower market. A few of the things on the outside I'm going to cover today, it's gonna show you the difference of what makes us a true diesel pusher build. Um, first and foremost, um, on the chassis itself, we are built on a 20, 29,410 GVWR chassis. Um, because of our construction, uh, if you know the Asdell story, I'll hit on that a little bit. We do save a lot of weight. Um, we actually have about 5,700 pounds of cargo carrying capacity in this. We do have an 8,000 pound hitch. Um, realistically, once you do the math of the combined uh, G GCWR, the gross combined vehicle weight rating of 33,000 pounds, you can realistically tow a good size SUV with this product. Um, not gonna overextend your weight or anything like that. Uh, 340 horsepower ISB 6.7. It does have the six-speed Allison transmission 2500 series, full air ride suspension, and also full air ride brakes throughout. It's not air over hydraulics, it's a true air brake system. We do use drum brakes in the front and drum brakes in the rear. Out in the front of the coach, again, getting into a few of the diesel pusher, true diesel pusher builds, we do have a slide out generator tray. Um, I've seen coaches out there that retail closer to 300,000 that they'll have it, the front cap will slide out, but the generator stays put back inside the coach. So you still have to you know, twist your way in there, become a contortionist to service your generator. Um, also, one of the things we have 17 inch bus mirrors. <clears throat> a lot of our competition will use the little 13 inch mirrors over here on the side. We want to make sure that you're truly comfortable at the driver's seat when you're driving. Probably the greatest visibility you'll get with a coach. Uh, sight right dash, our dash is sloped at 20 degrees. So when I'm sitting at the driver's seat, it's about 20 feet before I see pavement. And you can imagine the flatter that dash becomes, that viewing angle shoots out to sometimes 30 to 35 feet. So we wanna make sure you have good visibility there. Um, sitting at the driver's seat using peripheral vision, I can see 100% unobstructed view down the side of the coach. We do mount our cameras down lower. What I like about these mirrors, they are uh, color, but they also give you a 120 degree viewing angle where you're coming straight down. So we're virtually, basically eliminating any blind spot versus having a mirror up in the, uh, camera up in the mirror head, your viewing angle comes back a little bit further back to your front tire. So we have an advantage there. Um, roof construction, sidewall construction, floor construction. We do a two-step process actually in our uh, lamination facility. We actually will vacuum bond the coaches, or the floors, the ceilings and the walls. We will also pinch roll them. So it's basically putting a belt around it, putting suspenders on it. The construction of this is not going anywhere. One cool thing about our floor construction against the competition, it is a steel floor construction. Every component has a two pound bead foam insulation with it. But on the bottom side of our floor, we actually use the one sheet galvanized metal instead of Darko plastic. On the top side, we have a half inch deck, uh, half inch decking on top of wood. This particular coach will actually have rolled linoleum throughout the entire coach. One of the other common questions I get, what is the overall height of this coach? Um, driving down the road, it is 12 foot 10 inches from the road to the top of the air conditioners. This particular coach, we do have two 15,000 BTU uh, Machman, or Coleman Mach 10 roof air conditioners, heat pumps as well included with that. Also up on top of the roof, we do have it, it is pre-wired for satellite. It also has a Wi-Fi Ranger 4. 
uh, that can be aftermarket, can be added to uh, have a SIM card added to make it a mobile hotspot for you. So that's also included with the package. Um, it is a one piece uh, pebble grain fiberglass. Again, competitive models in this price point and above, you'll see TPO, you'll get the vinyl material, but you know, being a true diesel pusher, most people do expect the one piece fiberglass roof. Um, sidewall construction, we do use the Asdell backer. There is no wood in this sidewall. It is Noble Select gel coat. It has a three year warranty on it. What's nice about the Asdell, it resists moisture over time. You get condensation in the sidewall. Because there's no wood in there to absorb the moisture, uh, it's going to just dissipate. The, if you get wood in the sidewall, it absorbs that moisture over time and it will swell and then you'll start seeing your wood block growth on the outside of your coach telegraphing through. So that's definitely an advantage for us. One of the, uh, I, I call them one of the unsung heroes of our production facility is our paint shop. We do paint everything in house. We do use Sickens paint. We really take the time to do a nice job. Even when they're doing the clear coat, they'll razor blade the uh, paint lines down so you're gonna get a nice trans or smooth transition throughout. Um, unlike, you know, again, some of the competition, they'll ship their uh, motor homes out to a third party mass paint producer. They'll rush them through a production facility and bring them right back to the paint shop. In our paint facility, we're allowed to, we have the luxury of baking on the paint at 190 degrees. So once that's all put on there, we can go ahead and put the diamond shield on there that does have a limited lifetime warranty on it. Um, going back to mass paint producers, you really, if you don't bake it on, you do have to wait about 30 days before that paint cures before you put the diamond shield on. Um, so again, another process advantage that we have at Coachman. A couple other things about being a true diesel pusher build, a lot of manufacturers do use the slam latch compartment doors. Um, one of the things I like pointing out is in our models, these doors like the fiberglass door that we use for the TV with the aluminum trim ring, um, very solid door, it does work um, structurally, it's fine, but we do not use those doors down below because we get a lot of twisting and flexing below the belt line of this coach. So with all the huge storage we have underneath here, we wanna make sure we're protecting that belongings. One of the key elements to that is when you use doors like this down below, you have a 3 8 inch gasket that you're expecting to keep all your personal belongings dry. So with that said, we move into our bulb seal. Um, again, one of the key features, even though you, you look at it and you think, oh, you know, hey, it's a seal. This is an inch and a half dual lipped bulb seal. Uh, it's not gonna you know, freeze when it gets cold. It's not gonna get too mushy when it's hot. But what I like about it, when you go to shut the door, you really gotta push this to get a nice tight seal. But I'd rather feel that nice tight seal than to rely on this type of gasket underneath. Big deal. Underneath the chassis on the 365, we actually have two compartments about 48 inches in width. Um, you see the saddlebag storage, it actually goes up and across. So we've got just about 12 and a half inches of clearance that goes totally across the side of the coach. And that's where we're gonna store the ladder for the drop down bunk on the inside. Um, obviously a lot of room to put golf clubs, but we also supply an air hose. Uh, what this is for, up in the front compartment, there's actually a um, auxiliary air hookup, both on the passenger side and the driver's side. So to maintain your own tire pressures while you're traveling, uh, you get to your campsite, you have an air mattress you want to uh, inflate to let kids sleep on outside the coach because you know you don't want them on the inside of the coach, right? Um, you can inflate that right here off the uh, chassis air compressor. A couple other things we have here. We do have a, a 90 or a 10 amp solar panel hookup. So if you want to take solar panels with you, just plug and go here. We do have another 110 outlet here. And then once we get to the back part of the coach, I'll show you where we have an LP quick connect. Right in front of the tires is where our holding tanks go across. This is a bath and a half model. Um, we do close that off, but still utilize every bit of dead space we have. If we have dead space on our coach, we try to put a door on it or a drawer in it. Uh, we know how valuable storage is. But also in this compartment, 
when we're running the furnace on the inside of the coach, we actually duct uh, two inch ductwork into this compartment off the furnace. So we're blowing a forced air heat around the holding tanks, you know, in the colder weather. So you do have the heated holding tanks. One other thing we have, we do have a 17 foot awning on here. Uh, it is the uh, Coleman awning. In the heads of the speakers, or heads of the awning arm here, we do have built-in speakers. Inside, we have a 500 watt four channel Bluetooth amplifier that you can take music right off your smartphone, uh, Bluetooth it out here, or you can actually take the outside TV and run that sound through the outside speakers. So if you're out tailgating or you know just out watching TV at night at the campground. Um, everything co does come with, like I said, a power awning. All the slide rooms have a slide topper awning. Um, slide systems that we use, uh, we do use a Lippert Slim Track. A uh, little individual motor at each corner does a real good job for us, little 12 volt motors. Moving back to the back half of the coach, we do have the 13 inch depth tank, um, which comes with every diesel anymore. And then back in here, we do have an LP Quick Connect. We also have a 2000 watt inverter that will pretty much power up the entire coach, except like the roof air conditioners. It's gonna do all your appliances, your TVs, um, and the GFI circuit. And I'll hit more on that once we get inside the coach. And as far as the back half of the coach here, uh, 10 gallon gas electric water heater. Ladder does come standard, unlike some of our competitive models that doesn't even provide a ladder. Um, tail lights are stacked in the back, so when you're towing the bigger SUVs, people behind you can see when the brake lights come on. With that, we'll go on inside the coach. Okay, we're back inside the 365 RB. Uh, we did make a few subtle little twists to this. We've been building this floor plan for a little over a year now, one of our more popular models, but based on customer input, uh, we always try to improve things as we go along. Um, front part of the coach, we do have a 47 by 81 inch drop down bunk. What I like about this system, it's a Euroloft system. It has a weight rating of 600 pounds. You can stop it at any height until its final resting spot just above the driver and passenger seat. What's nice about that, if you wanna use it for storage, uh, put some plastic totes in there. As long as you're comfortable, you know, you can actually stop it at this height, so where you almost feel like a class C down in here, but you can actually use that as storage if you don't use it for a sleeping area. One of the other things we made up front to the dash area, we did instead of going, we had three different colors up here. We did go one solid color up here, really dressed it up quite a bit. Still using the 10.1 inch uh, XR radio. There is an HDMI port here where you can plug your cell phone in, um, dual mirror off your cell phone. Um, and it'll view onto here. Added a uh, cocktail table, actually two little recepts where you can have it, the passenger can have it in front of them or while they're driving, once you park, these chairs do swivel around, you can park it at, or install it in the middle and then I actually use it as a cocktail table. Another thing we did, um, there's really, when we design motorhomes, RVs in general, we're always trying to put 20 pounds in a 10 pound bag. So we're always sacrificing here, we're sacrificing there. One of the things we came up with to um, sort of um, combine our, our, our efforts a little bit, we do have a nice solid surface countertop here. It does have the nice uh, flip up extension here. We did have a little end table here. We actually raised that so you're at the same height as the kitchen countertop. So you can use this as a work prep station, set a crock pot here, blender, coffee pot, um, three, three position wine rack, or it doesn't have to be wine. You can take the little travel blankets that a lot of people like carrying with them and roll them up and shove them in here. And then we still have the two big drawers underneath um, with the soft closed drawer guides in here. The other change we made, we went to the 18 cubic foot refrigerator. And the reason we did this is we wanted to add more kitchen, more kitchen storage. Lot, one of the main questions I get at an RV show is maybe I'm lazy as a rep, um, but I do like this blue protective film on top of the uh, stainless steel refrigerators. Keeps it protected until it gets to the end user. A lot of times I'll have somebody come in the show, why do you have a blue refrigerator? There you go, I just explained it to you. With that said, we did add a pantry here, a um, couple pull out drawers underneath it. Popular feature of the kitchen countertop, we do have the 
Chef's Choice Spring Faucet here. Uh, more importantly, you get a lot of great comments on our farmer sink here. Uh, about eight inches deep, one big pan here. Uh, really adds a nice touch to it. We also, for our backsplash, we did change to a um, mosaic pentagon shaped glass tile. Just adds a lot of character to this. The colors blend in well. The coach we are in, this is a new coast interior with the new Sumatra wood. Um, new new mid-year change. We used to have just the gas cooktop here and storage underneath. But believe it or not, a lot of people are starting to ask more and more about ovens again because it's, it seems the industry has gone away from it. So we do have the oven, gas oven, magic chef, and cooktop. I like the nice little blue accents here. Still have the Frigidaire um, microwave here. One of the things we do, to, again, trying to build on that luxury bus feature, we like to brand match appliances um, as much as we can. There's going to be times that for whatever reason, supply from suppliers or whatever. Um, might have to go a different brand, but we do Frigidaire here. We do Frigid Frigidaire Refrigerator, much like the Jensen TVs. Um, it's the only brand that's designed for the mobile market. Um, what I like about it is not only do we have the 40 inch in here, we have a 40 inch Jensen TV outside. We have a 32 inch Jensen TV in the bedroom. As you know, with any new RV, you get about 30,000 different remote controls. With this, you can actually keep it simplified, or simplified, have one remote that'll work each TV individually. One other thing with the Jensen TV, we do have a Polk Audio soundbar that comes standard with each coach. And another nice feature is the 5000 BTU electric fireplace. Uh, does an amazing job at keeping this whole coach nice and toasty when it's a little chill in the air. Uh, we also have the fantastic vent that is standard in each model as well. Again, we got a pantry here, another pantry down here, but we built the shelves into this one. Again, soft closed drawer guides here. 72 inch booth can sleep one, maybe two people. Of course, the 81 inch booth or drop down bed up front will sleep a couple. The uh, 78 inch trifold uh, visionary sofa will also sleep two. So we've got two, four, five, maybe six, seven, eight back here on the king bed. One of the, probably the most important features to me in this coach is when you get into a bath and a half diesel pusher, when you get back towards the bedroom or into the rear bath, there's always a step up. At night, you're getting out of bed, going to the bathroom. Of course, you have the half bath right here. Um, but going in the rear one, you don't have that trip hazard in the middle of the night. To get back to the rear bath, you don't have to worry about uh, stepping up into, you know, stepping up on that step. It does have a one-piece fiberglass shower, which is a new change, but we, what, we, what you can also do, just flip up the foot of the bed, and you have almost 40, 42 inches of clearance here to get on through. So that's, to me, again, a very uh, popular feature. Uh, really thought that one through on, on this floor plan. One of the other things that we did with this coach in designing it, um, talking to dealers that, talk to you, the customers. We try to build on that input um, to make sure we're taking everything into consideration, making this thing work. 365 RB, ideally, typically gonna end up, what we thought we'd end up would be around 38 foot overall is what our target was. But in listening to some of the obstacles that uh, were presented from other manufacturers, there's a couple things we wanted to definitely do in this. We did add this second pantry, which I talked about. Uh, so you picked up a little bit of space there. And when you're looking at other comparative models, usually this half bath is pretty small. So what we did, we added about another foot to this and ended up right at an overall length of right at 40 foot on this coach. But with the extra storage you get and the bigger half bath, we felt that was more beneficial than, you know, trying to shove it all into the 38 foot package. A couple things in the bedroom that we've done for basically the past year or so now we do have the coach pap station we had the um, a lighted compartment up above the bed there is a hatch that comes down through and a 110 outlet so you run hoses cords down through there um, if you want to put a stereo up there run speaker headphone if you don't have the wireless headphones uh, you can run the speakers down through there um, another thing we've done we don't use generic window treatments we do use the cadillac of um, uh, day night shades we use mcd mcd shades throughout it is solar and privacy around the entire coach even the front has 
front windshield is power. It does have the sunscreen. It does have the privacy, uh, privacy shade, unlike the competition that just offers a privacy shade there. A couple tweaks we've made. We still have 110 outlets on both sides of the bed down low, but we also added a couple USB ports on each side. Uh, so when you're charging your cell phones at night, we have that uh, as well. Um, every coach is washer dryer prepped. In 365, we actually have two compartments down here. First side will show uh, adjustable shelving. The plumbing and the electrical is back down the false panel in this compartment. If you wanted to just use a combo washer dryer, that easily fits in there. Second compartment here is wide open, but there's actually a closet rod installed up inside here, so you actually get a little bit more hanging space in there. A lot of countertop space in here and for knickknacks. Um, thermostat controls, we do have two controls in the coach, one for the bedroom zone, one for the front zone, and that's where you're gonna control your heat pumps as well. Then like I said, as we move back into the bathroom area, you can see we have a new one piece of fiberglass shower. Uh, we get the toilet back here. And what I like about this back corner, we actually have a built-in hamper in here as well, and more additional linen storage above. So that wraps up the 365 RB Sports Coach SRS series. Any questions, feel free to visit our website at www.coachmanrv.com or follow us on Facebook at Coachman Recreational Vehicles. Great site to follow along, always updating it with current information, and hopefully we'll see you soon. Ever want to do a factory tour again, send your request in and we'll be more than happy to accommodate you. Thank you very much.